subject of my study is a new field of immunotherapy for cancer and AIDS. What immunotherapy means is to treat cancer and other diseases such as virus infections using the immune mechanism that enhances immunity. Immunotherapy is different from such conventional therapies as operation, chemotherapy and radiotherapy. This is a new area of research and is very interesting. This has great potential for treating cancer and AIDS. To keep us in good health, the causes of diseases such as virus infections and cancer must be removed before they grow stronger. For this purpose, immunity has to be enhanced to protect the body from foreign invaders. Now let us see how our immune cells fight inside our body. When alien substances invade, neutrophils start attacking them first. Macrophages also capture them and eat them. Killer T cells attack cancer cells. The human body is made of 60 trillion cells and in those cells are immune cells that protect the human body from alien substances. There's a good disposition of as many as 500 billion warriors in the body. Also there are various other micro warriors among the immune cells than neutrophils and macrophages. T cells are the main force units making up 65% of all the immune cells. B cells make up 15% of all immune cells and play a role in antigen antibody reactions. Also, NK cells, making up 10% of all immune cells, are responsible for natural immunity. These immune cells are all produced originally in bone marrow and then grow in various organs each playing different roles as warriors. The thymus especially is the important organ where the main force units of T-cells are trained and educated. However, it atrophies as one gets older. Then how do immune cells fight with foreign invaders? T-cells, the main force units, cannot recognize alien substances by themselves. Therefore, they do not react at all. The first recognition of alien substances is the task of the macrophages. Macrophages act quickly to take them into cells for enzymatic decomposition. This is for transferring the information about alien substances onto helper T cells. There's a non-self-recognition device called MHC antigen on the helper T-cell's surface and the MHC of the virus, which is different from its own, is recognized. Antigens presented by macrophages are caught by the antigen receptors of helper T-cells and virus invasions are recognized. Helper T-cells then activate killer T-cells by secreting interleukin-2. Activated killer T-cells generate lymphokines to attack alien substances. B-cells are also activated to release antibodies and switch on immune reactions. NK, or natural killer cells, were discovered in the 1970s. They'd existed before immune cells were differentiated. Those are found in lower animals such as frogs and fish. 
It takes time before T cells and B cells start to react against alien substances. On the other hand, NK cells start to attack them independently, without complicated processes. It's for this reason that NK cells are considered important cells for the protection of a human body, particularly from cancer. NK cells have large heart-shaped nuclei. This picture shows a particle appearing on an activated NK cell. This is called a granule and is a weapon to kill foreign enemies. Before NK cells are activated, there are no granules and NK cells cannot kill invaders without the weapons. No matter how many warriors there are, non-activated NK cells are of no use. What matters is the quality of the warrior. The granules are, in other words, the bullets of a pistol. The attack of the NK cells against cancer cells starts with the independent recognition of cancer cells and then bonding with cancer cells when granules in the NK cells are released to destroy the cancer cells within five minutes. This shows how they attack. Granules stick to cancer cell membranes and make holes in them. The outer liquid comes into the cancer cells through the holes, causing death to the cancer cells. Here is a microscopic photograph showing NK cells attacking. Several NK cells fight against a cancer cell at the same time. One NK cell attacks two cancer cells at the same time, with the right-hand cancer cell already destroyed. Soon after that, the left side cancer cell is also killed, and then the NK cell starts attacking others. In this way, an NK cell kills cancer cells one after another. The relation between NK cells and cancer is just like a war game between cat and mouse. Stronger NK cells could destroy cancer cells offhand. On the contrary, cancer cells could attack.